in the realm of thought-provoking conversations, here's a tale of two passionate individuals, each advocating for their beliefs with fervor. Our journey begins with a message of heartfelt concern and an honest plea for understanding. I appreciate you tagging and sharing those videos with me, the wise wanderer began, but I'm feeling overwhelmed by the many videos you've been tagging me in that align with your particular narrative. Our first question arises, how can we navigate a dialogue when passionate convictions lead to a sense of being overwhelmed? It's an opportunity for empathy and a measured response. The wise wanderer's message continued, addressing the delicate issue of historical claims and narratives. While highlighting under-recognized contributions is important, suggesting entire groups ruled the world risks oversimplifying history's intricate tapestry. The second question beckons, how do we balance the need to acknowledge under-recognized contributions while avoiding oversimplification of history? A delicate dance of perspectives unfolds. In response, the passion on the other side of the conversation blazed with intensity. I think I made my point and will not be tagging you on any further posts, came the resolute decision. Blacks have demonstrated an inordinate amount of forgiveness and kindness. That time is ending. We will take our power back. Here, a challenging question arises. How do we find common ground when strong convictions clash? The need for mutual understanding takes center stage. The wise wanderer replied, seeking to bridge the gap. I appreciate your passion and commitment to addressing historical inaccuracies and injustices. My intention was not to dismiss or diminish these realities. Rather, I was suggesting that we should strive for a balanced understanding of history that recognizes the contributions of all cultures. This prompts our final question. How can we maintain open, respectful dialogue even when confronted with differing viewpoints? The quest for mutual understanding continues. In conclusion, my fellow wanderers, this tale reminds us of the complexities of engaging in thoughtful discourse in a world brimming with diverse perspectives. It's a reminder that the path to mutual understanding often involves walking through the thicket of passionate beliefs. So, I leave you with this question. How can we continue to navigate these intricate conversations, find common ground, and foster mutual understanding in a world of complex narratives. Now, my time is running thin, and I must leave you with this thought. In our ongoing quest for mutual understanding, let's remember that time is a precious resource. Until next time, continue the journey of dialogue and exploration, and may it lead us all toward greater understanding.